Galaxy S24 and the S24 Ultra iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. You know what's common in these examples. Well, every Ultra flagship phone has a smaller and a more affordable version that sells for a much lesser price. And this is the Xiaomi 14, which is a ton down version of its stop in Xiaomi 14 Ultra for a starting price of $800. This phone packs a lot of punch with its flagship grade performance and display a really nice set of cameras and a bigger 4600 mAh battery. I have been comparing it side by side with the more expensive Galaxy S24 and I am excited to share my findings with you guys. So let's start. I wouldn't exactly call it a compact phone, but it's extremely handy for sure. It's slightly bigger than the S24 or even the Pixel 8, but these curves on the sides make it fit snugly in the hands. Although I would have liked it if Xiaomi had given a matte finish, just like the competition since. This glossy back attracts fingerprint smudges very easily and it can get quite slippery too. Xiaomi also has not disclosed what kind of glass protection they have included at the back, but on the front you get Gorilla Glass Vectus first gen. I know it's not as good as the latest Vectus 2 that we get with the OnePlus 12 or the Galaxy S24, but it should endure a good level of feeding. But one thing I'm not a big fan of is how huge the camera module is that sits on almost 25% of the phone's back. Maybe they could have trimmed it better given that it is a compact phone after all. The display on this device, however, is excellent. It's almost as good as the Xiaomi 14 Ultra. It features a similar LTPO refresh rate mechanism along with a total of 3000 nits of peak brightness. Xiaomi has included little perks here, though like this display has TUV rain and flicker free certification, so it flickers less in low lighting conditions like this in comparison to the Galaxy S24, and it has Dolby Vision support to which is still lacking on the S24 series. Let's talk about the performance now, and things get really interesting here. The Xiaomi 14 features the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, which is the latest and greatest in the Android world right now. And apart from like ultra flagships, this is the only compact phone that has this chipset included. This phone has a smaller chassis, so I was really interested to see if it could handle all the power of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, and for the most part it does it. You get a 9D watt adapter inside the box with the Xiaomi 14 that charges the phone in just 14 minutes and the battery life here is good for something that's really small. Somehow Xiaomi has managed to fit in a 4610 mAh battery in this tiny body and it gave me around like 5.5 hours of screen on time and regular everyday usage. Let's get to the camera side of things, and this is actually one of the strongest points about this phone. The Xiaomi 14 has a triple camera setup with a 50 megapixel Omnivision light fusion, 900 primary sensor, a 50 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, and a 50 megapixel floating telephoto lens, capable of 3, 2x zoom. It is a very balanced offering from the company that takes almost all the boxes starting with this compact well-built design. A really nice display, a good haptics, flagship performance with stable software experience and reliable enough cameras. Overall experience of using Xiaomi 14 was great. I would call it a mini flagship. So guys, what do you think about this phone? Let me know in the comments below. I will catch you in the next one.